To write well, it is necessary to read well. But if you've ever been given an analytical writing assignment, you understand the difficulty of analytical reading. Texts can be dense, obscure, and overwhelming. To deal with difficult sources, the writers of the wonderful and authoritative guide Writing Analytically have devised a technique of close reading called the method. As an example text, we've chosen Shel Silverstein's Where the Sidewalk Ends. There is a place where the sidewalk ends, and before the street begins. And there the grass grows soft and white, and there the sun burns crimson bright. And there the moonbird rests from his flight to cool in the peppermint wind. Let us leave this place where the smoke blows black, and the dark street winds and bends. Past the pits where the asphalt flowers grow, we shall walk with the walk that is measured and slow. And watch where the chalk white arrows go to the place where the sidewalk ends. Yes, we'll walk with a walk that is measured and slow, and we'll go where the chalk white arrows go. For the children they mark and the children they know, the place where the sidewalk ends. The first step of the method is to locate repetitions in the text, which can be words, details, or symbols. After we find these repetitions, we will note how many times they are found in the text and write out the exact words and number of times they are repeated. In this poem, the words that repeat themselves are walk, which repeats four times, slow, four times, where the sidewalk ends, three times, children, twice, place, three times, and chalk white, twice. The next step in analyzing evidence according to the method is to find strands, which are details or words that are not exactly the same, but have the same meaning. These words should be linked together and fall under the same category. Some strands in this poem include nature, bird, sun, grass, and moon, the dark, smoke, dark street, asphalt flowers, and light, sun burns, crimson bright. In step three of the method, we attempt to find binary oppositions. These can help us to better organize our findings and pay attention to the tensions that might exist within the text. For example, in Where the Sidewalk Ends, one of the contrasts is dark versus light. Specifically, the image of the sun that is burning crimson contrasts with the dark street mentioned in the second stanza. Step four of the method requires us to choose the most important repetition, strand, or binary and explain why it is important. In this poem, the most important binary is that of dark versus light, since it reflects the difference between the place where the sidewalk ends and the street. The sidewalk is a symbol of safety, while the street represents the chaos and danger of adult life. This poem shows the transition from childhood into adulthood. The poem describes childhood as light and innocent, whereas adulthood is much darker and more challenging. Next, you look for anomalies. A quote from the poem reads, Let us leave this place where the smoke blows black, and the dark street winds and bends, past the pits where the asphalt flowers grow. This is the only part of the poem where the imagery is negative or ominous. This highlights the fact that the state of adulthood is more frightening than childhood. Through the method, we can determine that the poem is meant to show how the transition of childhood into adulthood is the end of a happier time. The morbid diction, which is emphasized by the strands, repeated words, binaries, and anomalies, stresses this message. The method enabled us to find the bigger picture in the text. It can be applied to any medium even beyond literature. Applying the method is most effective when, um, early in the semester, when you're really trying to get students to engage with a particular text. So it's useful for helping them not just think about how to write about a text, but particularly how to read the text, which is something we need to know early on. Um, so teaching students how to look for repetitions, look for patterns, look for clusters, makes reading a hard text a lot easier. It gives us an approach, um, and then that can translate into brainstorming for writing later on.